Hi, this is Kit Welchlin and welcome to Welchlin.com. Today's video blog is on interpersonal communication. The question is, how is trust destroyed? I'd like to have a good time at work. I have an expressive personality. I have noticed though, some people in my department have a thin skin and no sense of humor and they take everything so personally. I don't know what to think about some of these people. I think my trust meter is dropping. How oh, is trust destroyed? Trust can be destroyed or damaged in many ways. Trust is damaged when laughing at, not with the other person, talking behind the other person's back, gossiping, or openly moralizing about another person's behavior. Trust is damaged through expressions of disinterest or disrespect and the refusal to reciprocate openness. Some people rely on equivocation, vagueness and word choice, or hinting when they feel vulnerable or uncomfortable with being completely honest. This type of behavior can create suspicion. Trust is often destroyed by betrayal, the abuse of another person's vulnerability, usually through ridicule or through lying. Once distrust is established, it's extremely hard to change. It is sad when it happens. The relationship will never be the same. People cite all sorts of reasons for lying. People lie to acquire resources, to protect resources, to initiate and continue interaction, avoid conflict or avoid interaction, present a competent image or increase social desirability. Some people feel it is a risk to be honest. I feel that it's a risk to be a liar. Yeah, yeah, I think you may be right. Honesty may be the best policy. I remember what someone wise once said. Liar, liar, pants on fire, sage advice. I I'm, not, I'm not sure what that meant. Thank you for watching this video blog on interpersonal communication. So the question was, how is trust destroyed? Trust is damaged and destroyed in many ways and it is devastating. When the trust level is low, team members will be evasive, dishonest, and manipulative. When trust level is high, team members openly express thoughts, feelings, opinions, and information. Your job is to be clear and concise, kind and thoughtful, and as honest as possible. Check back to Welchland.com every Monday for a new video blog. Being trusting and trustworthy isn't easy for me. Wait a minute, that, that didn't come out right. Uh, what, what I mean is when uh, being trusting and trustworthy makes me feel vulnerable. That trust thing is kind of ticklish business. <laughs>